Welcome to IBM Maximo Support Channel. My name is Christine Kim, and I am a software engineer at IBM. In this module, we will learn how to generate Cognos packages from Maximo objects and how to create reports from the published packages. We will talk about number one how to create Cognos packages from Maximo objects. Number two. How to create Cognos reports using the published package. Number 3. How to export your report specification to XML formatted text file. We assume that you have fully configured Maximo and Cognos integration. If you need any further information about configurating Maximo and Cognos integration, you can check IBM Developer Works. Maximo Cognos Integration, Step-by-Step -step Instruction, or Tech Note, Maximo 7.6 Cognos by Server Integration Installation Instructions. I will put the link in the comment section. First of all we will check out to create Cognos packages for Maximo objects. We will open the object structure. Click System Configuration, click Migration, click Object Structures. We will search the object which we want to publish as package. Enter keywords to find the object you want to publish. We select rep underscore work order for work order details. We can see the details of Maximo object rep underscore work order. Click Menu Publish as Cognos Package. Once the object is published as Cognos package now we will learn how to create Cognos reports using the published package. Click Cognos reporting to open Cognos connection which is web-based Cognos tool. We can see the main page of Cognos connection. There is folder called public. It is the folder name which is configured in the endpoint setting. The name of package which we created in previous section was work order details. Click this package name to enter to the package. To create Cognos report we will click launch button, then click report studio. Click create new. The package name is selected as work order details. If you want to change the package you can specify other package. For the report type we choose cross tab this time. For the rows, we select work type. You will drag work type from data hierarchy, then drop into rows section. For the measures, we select actual labor cost. You will drag a CTLABCOST from data hierarchy, then drop into measures section. For the columns, we select site ID. You will drag site ID from data hierarchy, then drop into column section. To run the report, click run button. The Cognos viewer is opened, and the report is displayed. We go back to our report studio. Now we will add another row in the row section. Select status from data hierarchy, then drop next to work type in row section. When you see double lines, you will release in the correct location of the rows. This way you can create nested table. Click Run button to run the report. The Cognos viewer is opened, and the report is displayed. You can see the updated report. Now we will check how to export your report specification to XML formatted text file. Go to Tools menu. Click Copy Report to Clipboard. 
you will see the report specification in XML format. You can use this specification to check your report or move one report to another environment. So far we checked about number 1. How to create Cognos packages for Maximo objects. Number 2. How to create Cognos reports using the published package. Number 3. How to export your report specification to XML formatted text file. Thank you.